Okay, I want to do a quick video here about the barcoding feature in QuickBooks Enterprise. And I will also address your ability to be able to use barcodes even if you don't have the advanced inventory function in QuickBooks Enterprise. Okay, so um, there's we've got an app that helps you use and count using barcodes uh, just using your item name and number if you use a like a typical alphanumeric value as the item name and number. But let's get into, first of all, the advanced inventory um, functionality in QuickBooks Enterprise gives you this added barcode number field here. Now, before you run the wizard, and I'll show you where that wizard is initiated, um, I, I want to talk about basically whether you should be possibly considering letting QuickBooks generate these sort of random numbers that they create for you um, or whether you should just use your item name or number uh, as the as the barcode now you can barcode uh, and, and just have the wizard copy all of these values into this box uh, when you run the barcoding wizard uh, you can also have it take this value and put it into this box um, but even if you don't have the advanced inventory uh, functionality there's a way that we can help you um, make use of printing barcodes just using this value now um, I'm gonna give you some things that I just have an opinion on here but basically I've been working with barcodes since like 1993 um, and I can say that if you're using like an alphanumeric number or even something that's a short description type of a value um, I don't recommend having you run the wizard to generate these types of random numbers to put into this box because um, you you really won't see any usefulness out of having another whole series of numbers in addition to your item name and number especially if you're using an alphanumeric type of a part number for the item name and number value so I do recommend having the wizard go ahead and execute and copy this value into this box as I show here especially in the case when it's sort of a shortened like alphanumeric value that you can barcode because the longer this value becomes you know uh, in in length okay the longer that barcodes gonna become and it's gonna make a really long barcode that you have to then compress onto a label if it's like a 20 digit value okay now if you have plenty of room on your label then it's not an issue but we can also do two-dimensional barcodes with our label connector to get around even that problem but the point being is you don't really get any usefulness out of generating this QB and then this long number after it because it's a completely random number that has no meaning and nobody like if it's on the label and people in your building look at it they're not going to know what that what item that is okay if you have this value like drum al bar uh, barcoded or some mnemonic number uh, that has meaning to the people in your company like you know AB-123-4 that might have meaning to people in your company because of how you've invented your part numbers so uh, so when you run the barcoding wizard I do recommend that you um, go ahead and just elect to copy the item name and number value into the barcode number box um, with label connector our, our barcode printing software you can use as the data source for your barcodes you can use this value or this value so for as far as us printing your labels we don't really care but I don't see any usefulness in going ahead and electing to copy uh, to invent a whole new series of numbers that QuickBooks and again QuickBooks is doing that for you because some people have made the mistake of like creating items that are like um, you know very descriptive and even like a semi short description which if you've done that you know then uh, you know you might have to opt to have QuickBooks create this uh, new number but um, you could discuss that with us here at AccuWare because we could still use a 2D barcode to get even a lengthy descriptive type part number into a barcode so basically when you execute the wizard uh, the way that's done is you go under edit preferences and then if you have the advanced inventory uh, functionality 
uh, you go to items and inventory, uh, company preferences, and then you go ahead and go to the advanced inventory settings, okay, and then uh, barcodes, and then you can open the wizard. And basically, the wizard's just going to ask you, you know, do you want to, uh, you know, if you don't currently track barcodes, they may invent that number for you, but if you can copy your barcodes from the item name field or from the manufacturer's part number field, then that's probably recommended by us so that you can have a a value that has meaning in your barcode rather than just a random number in your barcode. Uh, you can also use custom item fields and take that value and put it into the barcode value field. Now, um, for those of you that don't have the advanced inventory function um, you you won't have you know this advanced inventory uh, button here to view um, but we can still use uh, the item name and number value go ahead and barcode that with label connector and then we have an app now where you can use that item name that's been barcoded in our mobile app to count your inventory and go around and scan your inventory and keep better track of and make sure that you have accurate inventory. Basically our count inventory app will let you scan in the item and basically we'll, we'll present the quantity on hand value that QuickBooks um, has stored and, and then if you have the advanced inventory function we'll also display the bin because you can have multiple bins for one item but if you don't have the advanced inventory function we're just going to present the quantity on hand and you can just update that right from being out in the shelves with a mobile app and we can uh, talk to you in great detail about this app so um, but basically this is uh, mainly to cover you know the idea that um, hey I want to be able to start printing barcodes how do I kick off this wizard now once you have your barcodes um, created and everything labeled when you go to create an invoice you can take that barcode and scan it with a scanner into this box and it will pull up the item um, and that lets you add items to any of the transactions in QuickBooks that have the item input box, right? So, um, and if you have other third-party apps that, you know, can use that barcode to be scanned, you know, into that app, then those barcodes, of course, are useful, you know, to you as well in that way. Um, you know, we do have the label connector product um, that, you know, can be used from AccuWare to go ahead and design and print labels and uh, go ahead and like use those labels uh, I'm going to just show you this is the main query screen here where you can use all different types of orders you can use the item list uh, to go ahead and just like here, I'll show you quickly how you can use the items list we have an items list screen that's very similar to the items list screen in QuickBooks so that you can be comfortable the searching is very similar um, or you can use any type of order to print your barcodes with label connector so that's just a sidebar there but basically if you're trying to figure out how to get the objects you know your inventory barcoded then that's kind of the first step is using label connector so uh, I hope this helps because I think there's a lot of confusion surrounding when you go to run the barcode wizard here uh, so you know I recommend using the item name and number value for the barcode value um, when you go to run this wizard right here so um, that's our tip for today from AccuWare uh, makers of count inventory for QuickBooks and label connector for QuickBooks thanks QuickBooks thanks